So what do you do? You've clogged your hot end, especially your mosquito hot end. These are not cheap and uh, you don't want to damage it. Um, these are these are pretty hard to clog, but you know, it is possible through, you know, uh, the material or something you did. Uh, generally, they don't clog, but in the event that you do clog it, because it can happen, um, how do you fix it? Um, I don't know about you, but I don't like taking everything apart to fix a clog. Um, the best solution is always the easiest solution. And uh, before I get to the point where I take everything apart, if I can't cold pull it and do a bunch of stuff to try to fix it, um, I used to have this tool that I would uh, use to push the filament down through. And um, I got it with my very first printer, which was a flash forge finder, and I've never been able to find one since. Um, recently, I, uh, or a couple months ago, my son got a 3D printer, and I had this push tool, and I thought, you know, he's gonna need one, so I went ahead and gave it to him. But since then, I haven't really had one. Um, and last week, I was perusing partsbuilt.com, which is a local uh, small business that deals in 3D printer parts and accessories. Um, and they had the flash forge. It's called an unclogged pin. And uh, yeah, they're really, really cool. This is the best tool you can get to unclog your hot end. They have some other ones, or they make other pins for this, but the problem with them is, is that they're usually very short, and this is really long. This is a really long hot end, by the way. This is the Slice Magnum Plus uh, beta unit. Why does it look the greatest? But yeah, so they uh, they had these. I picked them up. They're a couple bucks a piece um, or a dollar something a piece. So I bought three of them, but it fits perfectly into a slice engineering uh, heat break. And like I said, I, I've said many times before, I don't recommend you go this route to clear a clog. But in the event that you've tried everything else and you're at your wits end, um, this is a great tool to have on hand. And like I said, like on a Prusa, it will go all the way through the extruder body, which is great because in a lot of cases, they won't go all the way down. Um, I've even used this going up. Take the nozzle out and go up. It's worked. Um, and you can also take a lighter or a torch and heat this up to kind of push the plastic out of the heat break. Again, not ideal, but it does work in a pinch. But these things are fantastic for clearing your hot end. So um, yeah, they have them at partsbuilt.com. So anyways, go check them out. I thought it would be a great tip for you guys. Um, you know, if you didn't know, Go pick up a couple of them. They're great to have on hand. You can thank me later. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You know, whatever, whatever suits you. And uh, hit the bell because uh, we're going to start uploading some videos. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.